Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I'm trying a new filming setup today. Um, so I hope this works out. I have a little desk that was my son's. It was up in his bedroom. His brother had given it to him when he moved and uh, he decided it wasn't quite big enough for his computer. So I said, hey, maybe I can use that for filming my little process video. So let's see how this works out. So. I just wanted to show you today a um, little flip through, like I said, of my Letter to the Hebrews Scripture Journal. So this was a gift from my friend Sherry at Wholeheartedly for the Lord. I've really enjoyed this Scripture Journal. This is the English Standard Version. Like I said, the Book of Hebrews, and this is printed by Crossway. And I'm seeing I have mess on there. Anyway, so what this... Um, setup is is like every book of the bible that um separately booked together rather than in the whole bible that you can use to do your journaling or your study so i decided um well sherry had asked me which book a while back um that i would do if i had this and I, at the time i thought oh hebrews sounds like a good study and so she surprised me with this, and so I thought this would be a great, great study to do for, um, let me adjust that there, for a few weeks. And I've really enjoyed this. I thought I would focus more on actual study, taking notes. Um, let me get a drink of water. My voice is weird. Taking notes and um, doing less decorating. So I, I did try to do that. I like to embellish the pages when I'm doing Bible journaling, but I really, um, not just focusing on a phrase, I decided to really look closely at the words, see patterns, um, what observations I could make, and, and so forth. So it's more than just decorating a margin, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I was actually trying to do a study. I decided early on though that it would be fun to feature a word on each spread that the passage was talking about. So for example here, one of the verses talking about Jesus is he is the radiance of the glory of God and so on. So I chose that word and I wrote radiance of the glory of God. I have always loved lettering as a little girl. It was like that bubble lettering or the block lettering with the shadowing. Uh, I used to like to try to do that and I had a uh, one of my friend's mom did this uh, really neat calligraphy and I would try to mimic that when I was in uh, middle school. So lettering's always been a thing, and lately I've been drawn to trying to do that brush lettering or that uh, faux calligraphy or um, some of that more trendy looking writing. I did take a little course with a friend. I haven't gotten proficient at it, but I thought, okay, that'd be fun. Focus on a, this table is wobbly, sorry about that. Um, focus on a passage or a word from the passage and just practice the lettering. So that was a little bit of a side aspect to doing this. I also wanted to use my large date stamp on each spread. So I, I think I remembered to do that each time. A few times I had to go back and add it. Um, I didn't follow any particular pattern exactly, but like I said, uh, note taking here I focused on a few words, um, looked up a definition of those to get a deeper meaning from the passage, and I did use washi tape here and there throughout. This is like my least favorite. This is so ugly. The way I did the word upright, I just can't stand. <laughs> I guess I could get some white out or off white out and go over it. But, you know, I guess that's part of it. Sometimes you like it, sometimes you don't. This I like. I like this turquoise and the polka dots. I just, that's hideous. It's this mild liner brown. It looks like a chocolate powder or something. I don't really like that color very much. I love browns, but I don't like how that worked out. 
Anyway, but you can see I chose upright, washi tape is a big theme, the big lettering, crowned with glory and honor. I like how that one turned out and I um, made it kind of pop out from the page using a gray highlighter to give it kind of a shadow. This one is pretty plain. I didn't do a whole lot here. It was a good little study day, but I, I did not embellish the page very much. But like I said, I was really trying to focus more on what I was learning. So uh, by the way, all these highlighted words, I'm focusing on some aspect of Jesus Christ and what the passage says or implies about him. So he's crowned with glory and honor. He is the founder of salvation. And one way he did that was by tasting death for everyone. He was made perfect through suffering, not ashamed to call us his brothers, um, and so on. Here I did, he was faithful over God's house. We are God's house, and Jesus was faithful over that. I kind of liked how this page turned out. I did some of my favorite colors, these golden oranges um, or golden yellows. And then I have this spray, Dina or Dinah Wakely. I can't, I don't know how to pronounce her name correctly, but I bought this spray a while back. It was called Cheddar. And I heard that name. I'm like, anything that's called Cheddar, <laughs> I had to buy. I mean, it just, I knew I would like the color and who, I mean, Cheddar cheese, can't go wrong. So I forget to use it, but I love the effect when I do it. You just, it's like a little squirt bottle and it gives these little glossy spray effect to your page, little spots. Faithful over God's house. He's the rest giver. Um, I used some washi tape here that's, uh, I, I always get Van Gogh and Picasso mixed up. That's silly, I know. I can't remember. I think this is Van, a Van Gogh painting washi tape. I liked the greens with the yellow I chose to use. And this is just one of those um, super tip crayon, Crayola markers. But it's a, such a neat green and it's drying out. I was really disappointed that I didn't put the lid on that tightly when I used it the first time. Anyway, rest giver, uh, through Jesus we can approach the throne of grace. I used yellows and oranges here and a sticker from, I want to say, Praise and Pray Shop on Etsy. I'm, there's a couple I printed at the same time. I'm not sure if that's the right one, but anyway, beautiful florals there and the sunflower washi tape I like. I used a couple um, washi tapes here, about, I guess three different ones. So this one, this washi tape has words like yes and amen, joy, or go out and joy and so forth. I like that it's clear and it looks like you wrote it on there or typed it on there. That's one of my favorite washies. That one is by Illustrated Faith. I do not know if that's still available anyway anywhere it's an older one this is also um, again it was a good learning time but I'm not real wild with my color scheme which is really not why I was doing this but I do like to look back and like it but I kind of did a reddish purple and the purples were not consistent and the reds were not so didn't didn't like this one as much as far as the way I uh, chose to embellish it Jesus is our high priest forever. Jesus gives full assurance of hope to the end. This one I'm pretty happy with. Use this bright washi and picked up on the orange and the turquoise. Um, but seriously, I, I mean, yes, it's fun to make the pages pretty, but I really enjoyed going deep into this book and revisiting the high priest that Jesus is. He, he is the one we can go through to gain access and um, to come into God's presence. And he is in the order of Melchizedek, who was a priest from the Old Testament. 
That was an interesting point. Melchizedek, the name means king of righteousness. And king of Salem, he was the king of Salem, which means king of priests. And so it was saying Jesus is in the order of Melchizedek. So Jesus is our king of righteousness and our king of peace. That, that was a kind of a new thing for me. I thought that was cool. This, again, lots of yellow, bright blue, terrible brush lettering. I mean, that's very mangled. I am learning that I have to hold the pen a certain way. I'm a left-handed writer, and I generally write like a right-handed. In other words, I don't hook over. But I can't do this lettering how I normally hold my pencil or pen. I have to kind of, I just had to reconfigure how to do it to get the best heavy pressure and light pressure to form the thick and thin lines. It, that is a little bit of a, has been a little bit of a learning process for me. So this one is one of the bad days. <laughs> and I was like, this is not working. Also, it depends on the pen. So I have found I actually like the Faber-Castell Pit Artist brush pens. For me, those work the best for brush lettering and or whatever you want to call this kind of style. Also, if it's a super wet ink, I don't like it as well as the drier flowing ones. I get a better result. For me, the way I write, kind of, it's just funny because the same line of pens can be real wet or a drier ink. It just depends on, I guess, what they have to put in to make a color. Um, these are the Crayola, some of the thicker ones or the thinner ones. I do okay with those, but not as well as the Faber-Castell brush pens. I, I know there's a ton of them out there to try. If you have a suggestion, I'm, I would be interested to hear what you like to do your lettering with. But so far, without me spending tons and tons of money on several kinds of brush-type pen tips, I feel like my limited experience is in favor, favor of the Faber Castell. Okay, Jesus always lives to make intercession. It's a guarantor of a better guarantor of a better covenant. I, I hit on that later. This one is kind of fun. I I liked using up these little owls. I think this is one that my son Noah gave me. I have two owl ones, and one I bought and one he gave me. And then I used up a little bit of my heart washi tape from Illustrated Faith. But I liked the blend of the colors. I, I think these are kind of cheerful colors without being like totally, totally bright. They're bright, but they're, I, I don't know. It's not too neonish, I guess. Is that a word? Neonish? <laughs> it's funny how we add ish to everything and make it a word. Okay, mediator of a new and better covenant. Regular priests were a copy and shadow of the heavenly things. He mediates a better covenant and acted upon his promises. Okay, and then we got into mid-December, and here I focused on some red and greens. I chose the word covenant. He is a new covenant maker. And he says that he'll write my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts, and I will be their God. This is a little bit different focus on lettering here. Sometimes I do better if I just wing it and do my own kind of thing. But anyway, I thought that turned out okay. Salvation secure. Um, he entered once and for all into the holy places by his own blood, thus securing eternal salvation. I really like liked that. And here, as you can see, kind of a berry color with the uh, golden oranges and kind of a raspberry. This is a washi tape from Dollar Tree my daughter Brooke gave to me. Um, those are pretty colors, so I tried to pick up on like this brighter pink. Once for all. Jesus died once for all. Shedding of blood necessary for forgiveness of sins. His sacrifice it was once for all, and he will appear a second time to those who are eagerly awaiting him. 
This is probably one of my favorite pages. Just talking about the, the decorating now. Um, this is a new pit pen, pit artist brush pen. Jesus is my sanctifier and perfects for all time. It talks about the blood of bulls and goats. The Old Testament sacrifices were offered continually for covering of sin, but Jesus came and offered himself, and that took away the need for the yearly sacrifices because he, his sacrifice was the perfect sacrifice. That, in a nutshell, is what the chapter was talking about. Anyway, the goldenish yellow, whatever you would call that color. I think it's ochre, maybe, in this line. I did a little scroll here, and I used more of the, is it, <laughs> did we say Van Gogh? Um, scene, scenery tape, and chose some turquoise tapes. Here I focused on pinks and greens in this, like, um, like sprinkles like that you'd see on a cupcake. Hold fast our confession of hope for he who promised is faithful. So that's what I picked for my word emphasis there. And here, this was kind of fun. My kids were impressed with me and my husband, whoever was watching me at the time. I had my big date stamp and I just did three or four different colors of ink on it to give this, what do you call that? Is it ombre? I don't know if, it, if that is the right term when it's different colors versus um, having the same shades or the same color in different shades. Anyway, I did that and I liked that because I felt like it kind of picked up on the little sprinkle washi color. Here, he is the living God. Uh, lots of gray here. I like using my gray highlighter, especially this um, one. This gives a good shadow effect. It is by, I want to say Prismacolor something I bought a couple years ago. Here's that ochre color again, but we he uh, is the heir of righteousness. She considered him faithful, who had promised. Did a lot in that same golden yellow tone here, and then I just popped on a little bit of Christmas washi. I guess we were getting close to Christmas, so I did that. And then um, purples and pinks here with a little bit of green and turquoise. Not ashamed to be called their God. We have faith are also seeking a homeland. This world is not our final place. It talks about all the heroes of faith of the Old Testament, what they went through, how they trusted in God and looked forward to a future coming Savior. This is a fun washi my friend Donna. It's like those little plants that eat things. Venus flytrap type thing, but they're like cartoon cartooned. Anyway, I liked how the colors worked with that. Didn't really go with the theme, but it was, the colors were perfect and that was kind of fun. I'm hoping I'm staying in frame. I'm standing up here just a second to see how this is working. And I think we're okay. Just don't want to get my big head in there. And then this one, I didn't really pick one word. I just highlighted several names of people mentioned in this 11th chapter of Hebrews. Moses, Rahab, Gideon, Barak, Samson, David, Samuel, Jephthah, the prophets. All these people, by faith, were looking forward to a better thing coming. And then here, he endured the cross. Consider him who endured from sinners such hostility against himself so that you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. So I focused on a couple different words and um, Jesus, so great a cloud of witnesses and discipline and how the passage talked about these different aspects. That is a good note-taking thing you might want to keep in mind if you haven't use that before. I've done this in our home school in the past when we have learned about, say, a historic person, say it's uh, Abraham Lincoln, who knows, and putting his name and then having different things coming out as we're reading through a passage that described him or his life. 
for an event you could do similarly. But here I chose to do these three different aspects which I felt were the main things mentioned in the passage. And then my focus here is endured. He endured the cross. And then here, his sprinkled blood equals a better word, a better promise, a lasting promise. This one is not exciting in color. Obviously, I've been kind of into the grays lately. So I just did gray and black and then a little bit of this olive green, or crushed olive, that's what it is. This is a Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And the crushed olive, I really liked. It looks like a green olive. So if you like those kinds of greens, you might like that one. And then here I went all out on the color. Um, he our, says in the passage, our God is a consuming fire, not to be trifled with, not to be messed with. Uh, loving, yes, but not a celestial Santa Claus. So be careful for that. <laughs> I've heard somebody put it that once more our God is a consuming fire let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe so I this kind of happened by accident but I felt like it ended up looking kind of like fire I, I love these kind of oranges and yellows and I put some distress ink on the sides and also those new inks I've been talking about that are like a chalk chalking ink um, and it kind of actually to me felt like flame a little bit in the color. And I just focused on these words, we're receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And I messed up, I did 2020 instead of 2021. So I just went back over it and kind of let it jumble together. So the 21 actually focus, you see that and the 2020 gets a little bit covered up sort of. Okay, and then this one turned out well, too, I think. Um, Jesus is unchanging. I just put his name here and highlighted that. I used that uh, pumpkin pie spice chalking ink or pumpkin something chalking ink that I bought a month or so ago, and I just tried to do a couple of different highlights from the passage. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. Do good and share. This pleases God. Act with honor in all things. Our city is to come. And hold on a minute. I have a knock at the door. I'll be right back. And then here I'm nearing the end. Or is this the end? Let me see. Yeah. I did this. Yeah, I did this um, today. I forgot that I did that this morning. Jesus is the great shepherd of the sheep, God of peace. He raised Jesus from the dead. To him be glory forever and ever. He will equip us with everything good to do his will. Grace be with you all. These are the closing remarks of the writer. I believe it's the Apostle Paul who wrote Hebrews. But it really struck me, just this little thing here, those who come from Italy send you greetings grace be with all of you and I really could just sense this person writing this book or uh, dictating the words that were written and thinking of you know all the people he knew that wanted to send their greetings along in the letter it just really had a sense of being written by somebody to somebody um, and those who come from Italy send you greetings. And that was neat too, because I have a son living in Italy. And I thought thousands of years ago, Italy was a thing. So it's kind of funny compared to our relatively speaking younger country. So anyway, I wrote a little bit about that, what I imagined the feelings were, what feelings I sensed reading this, uh, putting my own emotion in it, of course. but. Anyway, I was very happy to be wrapping this up, not because I didn't enjoy it, but uh, because it gave me a really good sense of completion. I enjoyed this study. It felt very manageable. What I would do is not every day do it, but most days since I started it, I did do it. And it was just enough to make it, for me, it felt manageable. Obviously, some days had more to look at, some days less writing, of course that's the end. Um, sometimes because of the format, it's 
spaced out when it's quoting the Old Testament, but the little chunks felt good. So you had a portion to study and then a place to write your observations or research or embellishments. And it really felt like very doable, um, gave me a sense of completion, enough that I could wrap it up for a day and not feel like I had to keep going or do a whole entire chapter. It was just enough size nuggets to work very well for the way my brain works. <laughs> like if I start something, I want to finish it. So because this was portioned out, I just chose to do what was on a page each time I did that. So yeah, if you are interested in doing some Bible journaling, maybe you're not sure you want to write in a Bible, maybe you don't have a journaling Bible, you want to give this a whirl, um, I think this is a fun way to do it. Um, again, this is by Crossway. I, I'm not sure where Sherry, my friend, bought this. Um, by the way, check out her channel wholeheartedly for the Lord if you're interested in Bible journaling or doing Bible journaling every day. There's something new from Sherry, and they're always very, very encouraging words, and I love her creative style. She puts all kinds of things down on paper, and just, it's fun, and it's celebratory, and it's uh, thoughtful and meaningful. So she's got a great channel, and I feel very blessed to have come across Sherry's channel and been encouraged daily every time I listen to her. I am encouraged. And anyway, this was a gift from her. Don't know where she got it, but I'm sure you can track them down. Go to crossway.com or probably maybe they're on Amazon or Great Christian Books. I highly recommend Bible journaling if uh, that's of interest to you or if you're interested in finding out a little bit about the Bible, pick, pick um, the book of John or Romans and go through it and and see what you find out. That's awesome. I'm thankful for this and glad that you were with me for this long video. Thanks for bearing with me. Hope this was interesting to you and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.